Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911 in the series of UI Builder. Today we discuss part 3. In part 1 we have discussed the overview of UI Builder whereas in part 2 we discussed how to create a particular experience from scratch. So you must see these two videos before starting this one because it contains all the basic stuff. So now let's go to UI Builder. This is open. Let's open the same experience which we have created in part 2. My first experience from scratch. Here we already have a page that is home and in that we have one variant and this variant is having one audience that is related to admin. So now what we will do we will create one more variant. So click on plus add a variant. So we want to add a variant to this page. Okay. And let me duplicate the existing one because it will let me less work. Okay. Click on duplicate. Provide the name. Let's call it home ITIL okay and if you remember in very first variant we have used audience as a admins okay so now we will create or we will update it to some other let's say users my first experience user so basically this audience contain ITIL role only in the very first one it was admin role now we have ITIL role okay now click on create so you see home ITL is also created okay it has one audience let's go to the editor let's make some basic changes just remove this admin and update it with ITIL we just want to demonstrate it that's it so it is updated save it so now let's preview this okay click on preview here so you see here the heading of the second variant okay this is in this frame but if I click on open URL path you will see the magic here I am seeing admin here but here it is ITIL it is because when I open this one is URL path that is a complete URL it is displaying with respect to the audience because right now I am a service now admin here right this is my admin account that's why when I opened it with respect to URL it is opening keeping the audience in mind as I'm admin audience it is showing this but if I impersonate to someone who is ITIL let me do that this is ITIL user click on it and if I reload it now you will see the changes I hope you will see yes we are right we are seeing the changes it is automatically changing based on the audience based on the conditions so this is the complete concept of variants based on the requirements based on the conditions we are able to display variants to different different people to different different audience but the URL will always be the same for that particular page okay so I hope you understand it now we will go in deep we'll come up with more such videos thank you so much bye bye